the memory of the heart is almost the same thing as the memory of the brain. The heart contains at least 40,000 neurons that are able to record events eh, like in detail. So if someone offended you five years ago, someone did something that is painful to you, you record it instantly. Like when you see that person, the next thing is you remember exactly what that person did to you. Someone broke your heart, you know, you were jilted. <laughs> and you can't just forget it and you know these things are actually recorded in your subconscious mind yeah you can still do your normal day-to-day you know and these are things that have been recorded and it's causing depression you're so depressed because you know you can't just explain why you're feeling depressed these are part of the things by the time you start going within you you'll be able to see those things you start feeling those things you know, going back to that understanding thing I talked about, you must be able to identify identification, for example, you know, you are be able to identify that, okay, this is what happened. Okay, let me share this story. <laughs> Yesterday, I was, I saw one girl, I saw one girl like that, I said, hmm, this girl looks attractive. And I started having this feeling. So the next thing is I asked myself, why am I feeling like this towards this girl? Why? I, she, she, of course she's attractive why am I feeling attracted to her and I started probing my, I, started ha- I started having some feelings in my heart towards this so I did not judge the feeling I did not judge it I felt it but the next thing is question okay so why am I feeling this okay 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 now a lot of thoughts started coming but I detached myself from the thoughts but the, the identification has started to identify why you are feeling so there's the identification now there is the feeling okay this way i feel so what did i do (laughs) you know okay this is what i did i watched a porn okay oh there was a porn i watched some years ago so this girl actually now looks like one of the naked porn actresses. <laughs> this girl now looks like the one of the naked porn actresses that I watched years ago. Okay, so that is why that image now created a feeling. Okay, oh, this is why I'm feeling like this. Okay, now it brought about love. Okay, love. Mm, how does love interpret? So, love is a thing of the heart. Okay, so it means that this is lost, not love. But now I perceive it as lost instead of love. Now, lost is love in disguise. It's your perception that makes it lost. Because you feel something. You look at someone and you feel a particular way. You feel in a particular way. Of course, it could be erotic, right? But ero- erotic. The erotic feeling is also a part of love, but you call it lost, right? Yes, I felt lost towards her. But the next thing is, how do I transmute this feeling? Now, don't deny it. The next thing is, don't deny the feeling. Don't deny it. Own it. Own the feeling. Feel it well. Feel it well. Like, invite the feeling. This is what I feel. Don't, don't, don't deny it, don't deceive yourself as if you are not feeling you know, and that's one of the things, and you know, religion, religion is very serious, <laughs> religious people would say, no, I cast you away, you don't cast it away, what you do is you feel it and let it go, part of the uh, videos, my subsequent videos, I'll be teaching about how to let go, you know, let go, let God, so this, the way is, you let go of the feeling. It is a heart issue. Your, your heart has recorded. You know what happens is that the heart, because the heart is a center, you know, it now the image that you are seeing, the image of the girl that I saw, now matches the image of my past. Of okay, there was one pornographic material that I engaged in the past that is in that is that matches with the picture of the girl that I'm seeing. So, now the next thing is, how do I detach? So, I 
focused on a mantra. What is mantra? Mind instrument. An example is scriptures in the Bible. You can use that. Or you take a positive word and focus exclusively on that word and don't judge the feeling. You know, the, the next thing is people will now, most some religious people, they start judging it. They will say, This is of the devil. This, this is not God. This is your feelings. Your, it's feelings. It's energy in motion. How can you tell me that energy is not God? God is energy. It's you. You are the one that is giving it the wrong interpretation. Attraction is a normal thing. When you are attracted to someone, it can be sexual, it can be whatever. It's an attraction, first of all. It is one. Your perception now determines the, the perspective. It will determine the interpretation you give to that feeling. So your mantra, your focus on the mantra now helps you to be centered. You are able to see the reality of the matter. Once you are able to see the reality of it, can take you, sometimes it, might, it can take you, depending on, <laughs> on how much you have exercised this thing. For me, it just took me some few minutes and I'm, I'm cool. But some people can take them two days, some people can take them even one week. Because that image is so strong, it depends on the level of, in my own case, of course, I didn't watch, I did not watch pornography so much in my past, but I watched it alone. <laughs> you understand? So, but now I've been able to learn how to be centered. And at some time, at point, I saw the girl and I didn't feel that sexual thought again. Because it's naturally just, I let it go, I let the feeling go. You know, I felt the sensation. I did not deny it. Denial, denial is another problem. You know, we deny, we deny. Sometimes you are feeling fear, but you deny that there's fear. You say, uh, yes, uh, I don't fear it. Who told you you don't fear it? Hello, there's fear there. <laughs> there's so much fear. Don't deny that you don't, you don't feel fear. One day, um, I, I actually felt fear at some, we call them, I did something, I think I was, crossing the road somewhere and the government agency, one government guy agency or something just took me and said I was not supposed to cross that place and I was angry. I felt the anxiety, I felt the fear. Yeah, I was angry and I was also fearful too because the other part of it was that like, these men are going to lock me up today. I did not deny it. One of them saw me, he saw my hand shaking. I was like, why is your hand shaking? I said, hello sir, I'm feeling fear. <laughs> I'm feeling anxiety right now, so please let, let me calm down. He said, okay, I understand. So don't deny what you're feeling. So, but let it go. Let it come and go. Because that feeling is trying to pass an information to you. It's trying to pass energy comes with information. So the ability to interpret that energy gives you the right information on how to tackle it. Maybe that girl, the reason why I'm attracted to that girl might just be something different entirely. Maybe the universe is just trying to teach me something or there is an inspiration or something it might just be there are you see it is called the field of infinite possibilities though there are infinite possibilities I, i'm not going to share with you some of the other things inspiration that came as a result of that attraction no, no, no. there are a lot of things i if I, I had to write a lot of things down i was writing writing i was mm -mm, no this is this is nice it was these things are completely opposite of the initial feeling completely opposite so you need to, these are this this of course this is part of the law of attraction you know I, these are it's i'm actually delving into some of the topics i'll be talking about in the future yeah so the heart of the matter is the matter of the heart once you are able to take charge of the workings of your heart then your paradigm shifts there, there's going to be a paradigm shift. It's, it's just going to be. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at a lot of things like you never knew before. It just comes. You know, some people they call it the ha ha moment of the enlightenment. You know, your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. You say, oh, wow, this is, I didn't understand this. Now I understand. So, love is the very crucial factor. Um, I'm going to talk about something right now about the fact that the word love love can also be likened to unity consciousness 
love is the same thing as unity consciousness so when we talk about god the father god the son god the holy spirit it makes sense god the father god the holy spirit god the son observer the process of observing and the observed whatever you want to call it it's the idea is unity unity so love is the experience of unity between the person that is doing the loving and the person that is being loved it is the experience of unity love can also be defined as the um, the animating force that makes you existent that same that same animating force that is in you is the same animating force that is in me and what is that animating force it's god that animating force is love is what that's why i'm standing here right now is love love is the reason why i'm here love is the reason why i'm doing this it's just love pure and simple so with all this explanation i hope you've been able to to learn something and i hope you are inspired by some of these words of mine i hope these words will take root in your heart will take effect in your heart yeah i i know it's gonna it's gonna do that to you thank you very much for watching you know i'm i'm so i'm so blessed by everything i'm I've been saying right now even me i've been blessed <laughs> and i hope you are blessed too thank you so much um just watch out watch out for subsequent videos i believe there's so much that we have in store for you and inspired by love thank you so much bye